Morning everybody. Today is Saturday the 28th of August 2021. Just happens to be Sharon's birthday as well which might help me remember this date. This is the date that we've chosen to start the van conversion that we're doing ourselves. So there she is in the background and the very first job that we're going to do is put windows all round. So the glass is in the back of the van so the next time you see this van it will have at least one extra window so as you can see that big panel there will be replaced with glass and it should look something like the glass that's already in the door so anyway that's the plan wish me luck So that's the driver's side complete now, all the windows are in, that's both sides finished. These windows are actually tinted, and um, tinted before I fitted them which was, it actually made it a bit more difficult really because I had to be very careful, but anyway, all good. So um, that's both sides complete, looking groovy, uh, so from inside now completely ready for insulation now all the panels are uh, bare and uh, the next job I'll be doing is covering all the uh, flat tin and the curved tin with insulation I have a big roll of it just here so that's ready to go in
Well, good afternoon campers. Monday the 7th of February and the RV project is complete. So there she is in all her splendour. A bit of a run through, awning on the right. Two lots of solar panels on the roof, 500 watts and all. An air conditioner and a vent fan for the shower. Let's move forward. Okay, the seats of course swivel round to face into the living area when we're not driving. The fridge with the microwave above it. The electrical uh, 12 volt switchboards. Some handy storage space on the wall there. And of course alongside is the full length mirror which is also the door for the shower. Moving in, we have a wardrobe here on the left hand side and of course cupboard space full length of one wall you can see the vents in the back door there above the bed on the passenger side we have full length cupboards of course all the way down and beneath that we have the kitchen area really which is a that will be the cooking space there's the spice rack this is the sink ready to go and there is a filtered water spout underneath got three sets of drawers and under the bed there there is a, a soft opening to the garage space at the back the shower itself is here, so we have a sink with a small tap above it, we have a mixer, we of course have the sh shower rose which is there, a fan and light unit and of course the all important toilet and a ceramic tile floor with a drain. On this side above the driver's area is some more storage space which has swallowed an awful lot of gear to be honest. The van is finished off with this carpeting And one of the features of the van are the LED cabin lights. It has more lighting, of course. It has cabin, sorry, uh, lights above each workplace and above each pillow, along with a fan for each of us. And I forgot to mention the television which is there and underneath is the Apple TV and some controls down there for the inverter the three kilowatts of battery power we have so that's it first trip tomorrow cheerio I forgot to mention, of course, at the rear, there is access to the underbed garage space. So in here, we've got the two electric bikes folded away. On the right hand side, we've got a 75 litre Engel type fridge freezer. And above that, we have the storage area for the mat that goes underneath the awning. On the right hand side, there is the diesel water heater and uh, that feeds from the diesel tank on the vehicle so there's no separate tanks or bottles for the fuel for the hot water. 